ćemo u obilazak nalazišta, najvažnijeg nalazišta u ovom delu Meksika, kod Palenkija. Moj domaćin koji me vozi taksi ovim motorom tamo, a da ovo me čeka vodič, imam privatnu turu za 35 dolara, što je super cena, pošto su grupne ture po 50 dolara i viš, tako da... Jedno tri sata, četiri sata će trajati kura, idemo. Da se kupuje prva i posle se tamo kupuje druga, opet je to... Ja mislim, jedno je taksa, drugo je ulaznic. Ali dobro, ovde se zajedno košta manje od 10 evra iz ove ulaz, tako da je to pristojno. Buenas, uno boleto. 97 pesa. Gracija. Ali gomila turista, nekoliko autobusa, već preko 10 autobusa. Evo, dve ulaznice, to su muzeo. Aaaa, imam i muzej posla, super. Čitala sam da je odličan muzej. I ovo je za ulaz. Idemo da. It's only 2% of the, of the city. This is what we can visit. The Jolo part. 90% still covered under the jungle. Okay, the, it's, it doesn't discover yet? No, or? it's still covered completely by the trees. Uh -huh, yes. But how do you know that? Okay, that in the year 2000, the University of Texas, okay. they came but, here. Okay. And the archaeologist was Edwin Van Hart. Okay. Geo radar, infrared, and satellite support. They walked in the jungle for one year. Uh -huh. And it's how they detect ah. 1472. Wow, they Maya walk buildings. that. Exactly. Wow. Palenque, uh -huh. it's one of the largest Maya city. Uh -huh. We have five. The first biggest Maya city, it's Tikal in Guatemala. Okay. Yeah, I know that's the biggest See, one. The biggest yeah. one. Then we have Calakmul in Campeche State. Mm -hmm. Third Palenk. Mm -hmm. After we have Tonina mm -hmm. here in Chiapas. Where is that? In Chiapas. In Chiapas. Okay. And the last one is Copan in Honduras country. Ah, in Honduras. Okay. See. Okay. Well, and we know, according to recent studies, mm -hmm. Palenque was established 400 years. BC. Oh, wow. At the beginning, of course, was a city with wood houses, mm -hmm. as a village, no? Mm -hmm. But through the years, it became a huge Maya city. Mm -hmm. And population mm -hmm. on the great days was around probably 110,000 people. Mm. Well, it's big. Yeah, for yes. that time, it's big. It's really big. And we know that Mayans here, mm -hmm. they abandoned 800 years after Christ. 800, so early. Exactly. What? I mean, why? <laughs> Nobody knows why. <laughs> and, of course, the question is why. Yeah. Uh, ten years ago, nobody knows. Mm. But today we know mm -hmm. that Mayans from Palenque, they abandoned the city because they suffer drought. But yeah. the question is, how is possible drought in the rainforest? Yeah. You know? Well, it's what we ask with archaeologists. Uh -huh. To build the Maya temples, mm -hmm. we need the rocks, but to put together, we need cement. Sure. And the Maya cement we call estaco. Okay. Estaco the cement. When we study, we just, to study, we, we, we saw that it's basically made from lime. Mm -hmm. To get the lime, mm -hmm. we need to take the rocks, mm -hmm. and the rocks has burned. Okay, recent studies of archaeologists, they took 1,000 kilo of rock mm -hmm. and to burn this, mm -hmm. they used three tons wow, of firewood. Of firewood, yeah, wow. I want to mean Mayans to can build the whole mm -hmm. city, they destroy the jungle. Ah, See? yeah, that's what's happened on East <coughs> Islands in Chile. Exactly, the same exactly. thing. You're right. Yeah. Well, they have no jungle, the weather change. They change, they climate. No more rain. 
sure. No rain of food for these people, no corn, no beans. Wow, wow, what a stupid. I mean, exactly. <laughs> they and didn't we, know that, yeah, sure. And they abandoned the city. Wow. But where is the evidence of this? University from London, mm -hmm. they came here. Mm -hmm. And they went in the palace mm -hmm. where the king used to live. Mm -hmm. The palace belonged 600 years after Christ, mm -hmm. from the glory days. Mm -hmm. Archaeologists, they took a piece of a stucco, the mm -hmm. cement, and they put a laboratory to study it. And then they went to the temple of the Count. That building belonged 790 after Christ. Mm -hmm. Almost 200 years difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. They took a piece of stucco. In the laboratory, they compared. Mm -hmm. And they saw that the stucco from the palace was pure lime. Mm. Good quality. Wow. But from the next building, which is later, mm -hmm. was no lime. It was ah, clay. Clay. Ah, okay. They changed the material. They changed material. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. They had rocks, but no wood to burn the rocks. I understand. See? Yeah. Wow, that that's makes sense. Exactly. It's yeah. very probably Mayans. They saw the problem. They tried to stop, uh -huh. but it's, it was too late. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And when people from Spain arrived here, mm -hmm. at first time they knew about Palenque on 1567. Okay. Then, the <coughs> long time after, 1773 mm -hmm. was the first expedition mm -hmm. and some excavation of the Maya city. And it's when they called Palenque. Mm -hmm. Palenque is the second name. Mm -hmm. Palenque okay. means place of the trees. Of the trees. Yes. Okay, yeah, I, I read about that. But what is the first name? Was La Camha the first name? What does it mean? La Camha means abundance of water. Oh, wow. Or place of many water. A, a place of, of a lot of a water. Lot of water. Wow, in the beginning. In the beginning. This complex of buildings, mm -hmm. we, we can call it as necropolis because they are burials. Ah, uh -huh. okay. But if you see all of them, okay. they're facing to the north. Okay. North for Mayas symbolize the entrance to the underworld. Oh, okay. See? 1993, they discovered the structure. And they call, archaeologists, they call as Temple of the Skull. Of the Skull, yeah. Why okay. up there, preserved two pillars. Uh huh, see. The second pillar in the very bottom, uh -huh. there is a skull in a stucco decoration. Ah, okay. On the second pillar. The name of that Maya god is Apuch. Apuch? Apuch. What does it mean? Apuch being dead. Dead, okay. Maya believe when people die, they, they need go, to go to the underworld. They should pass nine levels. Nine levels, yeah, exactly. I know that. It's what Maya believe. Uh -huh. I wanna mean this was a sanctuary. Uh -huh. The god of that. Ah, sure. See? Sure, sure. From top, they found a, a door. Mm -hmm. They went in there and they ah. found a smaller structure, an mm -hmm. older one. Ah, older one, okay. See? A human skeleton inside. Uh -huh. He was covered with 750 pieces of jade. Ah, okay. See? Okay. So lots of. I want to mean 50% it's a ceremonial temple mm -hmm. and 50% it's a grave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was only for nobles or also for, for, for noble? Only for noble. Only for noble. One one day was raining a lot in August. And the rain destroyed part of the wall. Mm, I see. And it's how they discovered the tunnel. Uh, yeah? Then they start to work. Okay. And they found a the tunnel. They walk inside. Tunnel. Five meters. Okay. After five meters. In the center of the structure, they found three chambers. Okay. The first and the last, they were open and empty, mm. nothing inside. Wow. But so, so. the center one mm -hmm. was completely closed with a wall. Mm -hmm. Archaeologists, to know what's in, they did a hole as a window. Mm -hmm. And by the window, they saw inside a grave. Mm -hmm. They found the skeleton of a woman mm. between 30 or 35 years old. Mm -hmm. They verified her skeleton and they saw that the ribs of the women, couple ribs, was broken. Mm. 
we understand Mayans, they practice human sacrifice. Yeah. Opposite side was a lady, sorry, a boy. Mm -hmm. He was so young, mm -hmm. 12 years old. Mm -hmm. His cranium was good. Mm -hmm. His root was good, but his cranium, sorry, his cranium was a bit separated from mm -hmm. the neck. Mm -hmm. Decapitation. Mm -hmm. Archaeologists, when they saw that, they told us that they were servants. Mm -hmm. Because they were outside. Mm -hmm. The coffin was inside, but of course contained a little rock. Mm -hmm. It was close. They lifted inside they found another skeleton mm -hmm. for women mm -hmm. with more than 1,000 pieces of jade. They found exactly, exactly mm -hmm. 1,000. 253 pieces of jade, oh, wow. diadems, mask, bracelet, necklaces, ring, mm. belt, pectorals. Okay, when archaeologists they saw all the pieces of jade, of course we understand that she was really important yeah, in society. Yeah. But the question is who she was. Yeah. And inside, you're going to mm -hmm. see, because you, go, you can climb, mm -hmm. that no hieroglyphics in there. No, no, no any... No text. Ah. Huh. Of course, no information. So you cannot guess. Well, that's why they decided to take your skeleton. Sure. And they sent in the US uh -huh. for DNA studies. Ah, yeah. They took her DNA, and they compared with the DNA of the main king from Palenque, mm -hmm. Pacao. Uh-huh. But according to the results, uh -huh. they are not related. Really? Okay, they said, why? Yeah. So she was. Well, they decided to do, to do another study we call strontium isotope. Ah, yeah, I know that. Meaning from teeth. Uh huh. These women, her teeth reveal us that the fierce grain of corn uh -huh. that she ate when she was a little girl, about seven to nine years old. Uh -huh was in Tabasco State ah, Tabasco. and we're in Chiapas well we have that now the temple of the inscription the bigger one mm -hmm. they call it that because they found inside three panels in total 617 Maya text ah inside inside <clears throat> okay today can be understood 70% mm -hmm. and those texts tells us Pakal's wife she was not from this place aha uh -huh. she was from okay. somewhere, somewhere else okay and they and call her red queen red queen because all the skeleton uh -huh. inside of the coffin mm -hmm. were painted in red. with a red ah. mineral yeah yeah well this red mineral we call cinnamon uh-huh see Volcanic rocks, we grind it and we, we juice for the tune. Also, the studies reveal us mm -hmm. that the lady, she died with osteoporosis. Osteoporosis? Ah, osteoporosis, so early. Yeah, but here it's humidity, huge humidity. Lack of calcium. Like lack of calcium, yeah. 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 And we asked our archaeologists <laughs> why osteoporosis? And they give us this answer, Mayans. They had many gods. Mm -hmm. One of the very, very important god is rain god. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need rain for for, for corn, for beans. For, okay, hot season in Palenque, mm -hmm. it's March, April, May. Mm -hmm. All right. If the hot season continues to June, then July, mm -hmm. Mayans they understood that their gods were angry. Ah, yeah. If our, uh, if our god they are angry, we need, we need to offer them blood mm -hmm. to have them in peace. But the best blood from the whole society, mm -hmm. it's not from the common people who live around. Mm -hmm. It's from the high class who are living in the palace. Yeah, yeah, I know for that custom. Because yeah. they believe that they were demigods. Mm. Okay, that's why kings and queens, mm -hmm. they practice what we call bloodletting mm -hmm. or self-sacrifice. Mm -hmm. In Yashilan, other Maya side, they found a huge hotel. Where archaeologists they found a, a man holding a torch mm -hmm. in front of him, his wife, mm -hmm. luxury dress, pectoral diadems, all, all with jewelry. And the lady she's taking a cord 
the court has spikes to it. Voluntary, she's taken his passing for her tongue. Oof. The whole road to bleed. Oof. Oh my god. And there's a ball down to catch the blood. And then they added incense. Wow. To worship my blood. Wow. That's for ladies, you know? Yeah. And we have evidence of it. Men also have evidence. We know that there is bones needles. Mm -hmm. And guess where? Genitals. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, we lost blood, we lost calcium. Oh yeah. yeah. And Mayans, they ate corn, beans, tomato, avocado. A lot of vitamins, proteins, yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. But no calcium. No calcium, no. That's why very probably they died with osteoporosis. Oh wow. Вреди свакок цента ово што ми објаснио. Идем да видим те тунеле. Уф, ова е огромно. <laughs> the temple of the inscription. Oh, inscriptions. Inscriptions. Okay. The most important one. Uh huh. On the sides, there are nine platforms. Uh huh. Represent nine levels of the underworld. Sure. In front of the structure, there are 68, 68 stairs. Uh -huh. Represent Pakal the king. He was ruling for 68 years. Uh, yeah? Okay, yes. so they built this after he died? Before he died. Before? Have been... yes. But, was ready, all the structure, just the step was not ready. Uh -huh. okay. And he died, they built the steps. See? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they use, <coughs> sorry, to rebuild things, yeah, right? Exactly. And they, archaeologists, they call Temple of the Inscriptions three tablets, mm -hmm. and in total, 617 Maya hieroglyphics. Mm. Those texts tell us that the man who was buried in there, mm -hmm. his name was Pakal. Mm -hmm. Pakal means the shield son. Ah, okay. He was born 603 AD. Okay. He took the power 615. He had only 12 years old oh. when he became a king. Oh, wow. Well, how? Because it's and he like... died 683. Okay. He had a long life of 80 years. Oh, yeah, that's really long for that time. <laughs> okay, well, let's have a seat here for a couple minutes. What a good acoustic here. Oh, yes. Okay, um, 18. 31 mm -hmm. in Palenque arrived Jean Frederick de Baldec. This man, we know that he was very rich mm -hmm. in Europe. Many people ask him where he's from, and many times he told, I'm from Germany. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes he said, I'm from Fran France mm -hmm. or Austria. <laughs> yes. At least we don't know where he comes from. <laughs> yeah. and when he arrived in San Cristobal, Chiapas, he bought a lot of boots, mm -hmm. macheres, mm -hmm. because his mission was Palenque. Then he arrived in Palenque, he paid native people, and they worked in this palace. Mm -hmm. Inside and outside, we have original sculptures of Mayans showing us events. This man, he started to draw the Maya sculptures. He did so well, but after a drawing, sometimes next to the sculpture he draw an elephant, mm -hmm. sometimes a dragon. Mm -hmm. It's something that we don't have here. Yeah. <laughs> then when he did the drawing of the Maya temples, mm -hmm. he did like Egyptian pyramids. Mm -hmm. Well, he got two volumes of these drawings and he sent in Europe. Mm -hmm. Europeans at that time they were 
uh, studying Rome, mm -hmm. Egyptians, but when they received all these drawings, they said, wow, amazing culture. Mm -hmm. And they asked themselves, what kind of culture is? Mm -hmm. Alfred from England, he came in Palenque mm -hmm. into these drawings. Mm -hmm. When he arrived in Palenque, he saw the sculptures, but he didn't see dragons. Mm -hmm. And then he said, why, why, why he, mm -hmm. these drawings? Mm -hmm. Why he had a lot of fantasies? Mm -hmm. Well, at least we don't know why. To attract people, maybe? Yes, because Palenque became mm -hmm. famous thanks to these yeah, yeah. drawings. Well, That was very smart, actually. Exactly. <laughs> and Alfred, he paid native people uh -huh. and he commands to clean that structure in the temple of the inscription. Uh -huh. okay. Also, it's good to know that Alfred, He's one of the first men with a camera here. Ah, okay. And of course he took a couple pictures. Now his pictures, it's a treasure. Oh yeah, sure, sure. And it's almost 200 years. Exactly. Ah, uh, okay. You can see at the background, the temple description. Yeah, I see. And the part yeah. of the palace. Yeah. That one they took. Over there in the background. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of trees around. And like this, he uh -huh. abandoned. Uh huh. Fifty years after, of uh -huh. course, part of the jungle take back the land. Mm -hmm. Alberto Ruz, the archaeologist, he did the same. Mm -hmm. He was making some restoration, but on top of the structure, mm -hmm. he found a triangular hole uh -huh. okay. on the floor. Uh huh. He lifted. Mm -hmm. And he found a tunnel. Oh, again? He took out all the dirt because it was covered with mm -hmm. robots. He found a step. Mm -hmm. He did some restoration. And he found another step. Mm -hmm. Inside, he was working three years. Oh. Because the structure in there has a tunnel of 25 meters. Wow. That's deep. So deep. Mira. Inside. Is how it looks inside. Ah, wow. Three years working, they built what they found inside and after the temple around, mm -hmm. around it. Mm -hmm. After three years, they were in the bottom mm -hmm. of the floor, on a wall, mm -hmm. and they found a triangular door, another one. Mm -hmm. They opened it, and in there, they found the chamber with six human skeletons on the floor. Mm. No jade, no text. Nothing. Just skeleton and poetry. Mm -hmm. Of course, they were so disappointed. Mm -hmm. The document, they took picture, because they were getting money from government from Mexico mm -hmm. and Rockefeller family. Mm -hmm. of, and they said, okay, no, nothing here. Let's finish the project. When they decide to come back and finish the project, one person of the team, in my opinion, he was so angry because mm -hmm. he took a hammer. Mm. <laughs> and with a hammer, he hit the oh, wall. Oh, and he found something, huh? And he destroyed the wall. Oh, wow. He destroyed the wall. And by accident, thanks to that mm -hmm. hit, at the bag, they found another tunnel. <laughs> And all of them, they said, wow, what's that? Uh -huh. They took that tunnel and sent them two meters under the structure, two okay. meters under the ground level. Ah, okay. And they found another triangular door. <laughs> they opened that glass door and inside they found a really big and amazing sarcophagus, wow. the grave of the tomb or the grave of the King Pacao. Mm -hmm. The coffin is three meters long, okay. two meters wide, thick, almost one meter, a bit of one, one meter mm -hmm. in limestone. Mm -hmm. That huge piece of rock, according to archaeologists, weighed about 15 or 17 tons. Tons, yeah. yeah that's huge. It's huge and then contained a lid of rock. Mm -hmm which is way longer, 3 meters 80, 
by two meters twenty, mm -hmm. thick twenty five centimeters. Okay, about five or seven tons. But all of that piece of rock has a really amazing bas relief or engraving. This one. Mm hmm. I see. We make soon. Wow. And we see the hieroglyphics. Ah, with her, yeah. There are 54 around. About his life? So it's Paklan, right? It's, the, the, this hieroglyphics, it's a song. A song? Yes. Hmm. Cool. All this engraving is the cosmology of Mayans. Oh, wow. They open the lift it. Uh -huh. And inside, they found Pakal's skeleton. Okay. He was covered with 700, 900, sorry, 967 pieces of jade. Oh. The piece most important is his mask. Now it's in Mexico City. Oh, wow, look at that. Jade mask. Wow. Precious mask. They found toilets mm -hmm. with a drainage system, mm -hmm. different corridors, sculptures. Inside there is a wall. Mm -hmm with Orient paintings, mm -hmm. blue, red, black, green, and yellow. Mm -hmm. There are sculptures also, mm -hmm. and a stucco decoration. Mm -hmm. Before COVID was allowed to go in there, uh -huh. but not, not now. Now, okay. And what's about, you mentioned, okay, that system, what about the irrigation system? You, they knew for that? How they collect water here? Okay. They had something? <coughs> in Palenque, we have three kind of system. Okay. The first uh, main system is the aqueduct. Mm -hmm. Aqueduct, okay. They had aqueduct, mm -hmm. not to collect water, it's to flush water oh, outside yeah, the city. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why? Because that's why they call Lacamha. Mm -hmm. Water almost everywhere. Spring water, waterfall, mm -hmm. small river. Mm -hmm. Well, and then we have like six or seven months of rain, mm. a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mayans to avoid floods in the city. That's why they build aqueducts. Mm -hmm. Aqueducts in Palenque, they are on the ground. Mm -hmm. And it was, they were covered with, roof, with a roof mm -hmm. to avoid the floods. That's the first system. Second system. The temple description. They found like small aqueducts, like we can call it as stone pipes, mm -hmm. like this size. Mm -hmm. They found like four meters under the structure. Ah, okay. Archaeologists, when they found that, no, was no water, was dry. Mm -hmm. But the months continued, and then one day it was raining. Mm -hmm. In the, and how they discovered the Dow, that rock pipe, was to drain the water mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of rain. Yeah, yeah. And it's to avoid to damage the structures. Uh huh. Yeah, humidity. yeah, because they collect it and on one place, yeah. Wow, well, it's smart. Yeah. The, the last one is, is from the toilets, because it's different. Uh -huh. but yeah, sure. The toilets are smaller, but they send all the feces outside of the city. Uh-huh, okay. See? Okay. If we go to the peninsula to, to collect, collect water, we, we, we have the chultum, you know? Mm -hmm. Chultum, I use they use. Wells, mm -hmm. um, yeah, 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 because yeah. I mean, it's always drier than here. Sure, mm. how many rooms approximately? There are chaparios, okay. There are archaeologists, they found many, many rooms uh -huh. inside, uh -huh. under. Uh -huh. We have bedrooms there, ah, okay, Toilets, kitchen, uh -huh. meeting point. Uh -huh. See, but how did they enter inside over these stairs, or it was another entrance? No, no, over the stairs. Over, oh, so you have to climb if you want to visit King. Oh, yeah, you have to climb, yes. <laughs> yeah. no, no other option. <laughs> okay. So, the Chirutnik Kamen is now on these of the planes, but it was not far away from here. See, it's very small, and probably in the jungle they detect, uh, well, we know that they detect five more like this. More, okay. When you see bold, ball court small, uh -huh. it means that they played there. Uh -huh. We use it so big like in Chichen Itza, uh -huh. we were symbolic. Symbolic, yeah. Symbolic. Okay. When he's climbing, 
It's uh -huh. a climb to go down. Big step was for sit. Ah, okay. Then to watch. Uh -huh. here. Yeah, from here it's actually the best <coughs> angle because you can see what's happened on both sides. Exactly. What's the name of that? Temple of the Cross. The Cross. Ah, yeah, yeah you told the Cross. Temple of the Corn. <coughs> Well, we are in the ceremonial temples. Okay. That's the step of the sun. Uh -huh. ah. We are to pray and worship the gods. Uh -huh. When they command to build these temples, because he was already dead, uh -huh. okay. his son, Cannibal Lamb, which means a uh, snake jaguar, uh -huh. he command to build this mm. during when he was ruling. The stones of the roof, that the crest. Mm -hmm. They were for decoration, mm -hmm. see? And if you climb, inside you can see a tablet, mm -hmm. bas relief, but it's possible to see Pakal mm -hmm. and his son, mm -hmm. Kanbalam. Kanbalam. Both of them, they, they pray and worship in the cross. Mm -hmm. When you see the cross in Maya civilization, mm -hmm. it symbolizes the tree of Seba, mm -hmm. the tree of life. <coughs> Maya believe believe that the origin of the human mm -hmm. was from corn. Okay. And Maya word mean children of corn. Oh really? And it's very probably when the Mayas they shaved their cranium, mm -hmm. it's to look like corn. Like the corn, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dakle ovdje vodič otišao i sad preporučujem i ja koliko je važno ovdje. Preporučujem je da se popnem gore što će ja da učinim. Naravno gore, ne možeš se popiti do, da se popiti na ovaj hram. E, meni je zanimljivo što kažu da je ovo gore bila dekoracija. Ja ne verujem da je to bilo dekoracija, mislim da je to imalo neki značaj. Neku svrhu, ali ajde, ovo je naravno strmo. Oko 4 cm visina stepenika. Biće problem sići u sandalom, ali dobro. Ima jedan selfić da okinemo ovde. Da se vidimo. Treba sići. Ovo je strmugov jedan totalni. Ali lagano. To što je klizavo dosta i visoki su stepenica uzene. Treba da vidimo ovaj hram. A nije toliko visok. Može lako da se ispenje. Mora ići dijagonalno po ovim stepenicama, onda se lakše penje. Pa što se zaista uzame, to je najveći problem. Nije mnogo dobro očuno. Wow, ne da bi se prividio ovaj veliki hrv. Bože, kako je, pa dobro nisu umirali od kostobolje ovdje. Koliko je vlagi u ovom kamenu. To kaplje curi neprekidno. Evo i ovdje se vidi. sa hieroglifima i te dve figure kralja i njegovog sina paka na njegovog sina Jagor nešto kako se već zvao obilaskom Palenke, ja samo da uhvatim minibus kolektiva za nazad i impresivno je, stvarno impresivno mjesto 
Samo dosta nekih stvari koje mi vodič rekao nisam baš sigurna da su tačne jer u mezi piše drugačije, ali uvek je to tako u dviči, svaki vodič ima svoju priču.